Hey guys and welcome back. Today I'm going to be researching the F14 without any premium vehicle or premium account. Wait, is that... is that... the F20A Premium? But no, no, I mean definitely not the F20 and obviously can't do without the 10% RP booster. Now obviously I'm showing you this takeoff clip for a reason. I wouldn't just randomly show you it. And that is exactly why. A usual case of the crashing on takeoff. Now this tree actually almost claims me as well because I was too focused on the other guy crashing. Now as per usual with the F4 Phantom experience, I got a little bored flying to a base. Uh, I'm not held responsible for anything that the missile decided to do here. And let me just explain the video quickly. So I'm just basically trying to understand what it's like to be a Phantom player and only going for bases. Now I'm going to speed this up here so you don't have to listen to me yapping for 30 seconds about how I didn't know where the base was so I missed it. But in the end I do get the base and quite a decent amount of RP for it. Now there's a MiG-23 behind me and for the Phantom experience I'm not going to go for him so I'm just going to easily flare his missile and is that an operation map? Oh, we all know what it's like to be a phantom player on one of these maps. So I'll just, you know, go play chess instead while going to the base. And this is just the usual experience when playing the F4. You can see me popping off here in chess. And then I see a MiG-29, so, you know, I have to focus up a little bit. I turn the music off. But still, I'm not really going to go for him. I really just want to get that juicy RP from the base destruction. And then I alt-tab for a second. Then I decide that I'll allow myself to use a few radar missiles while going to the base because I want to at least get some sort of RP from kills. I don't want to only get the base destruction because, I mean, that's not that interesting. And also, everyone else gets there before me anyways. Or I die before I get there. I mean, all sorts of things happen. So I decide to, you know, launch the same 7 I mean, it's looking really good at this point here. The F4S flares, but the missile still tracks. I mean, that's going to be a kill. But, uh, yeah, I'll just count that as my kill. To be fair, I mean, that should have been my kill. I mean, I was that was spot on. But then I kind of sniped this base. I mean, that's nice. 1,000 RP, that's crazy. And then I actually get to go for this second base as well. I mean, that I, I kind of understand the Phantom players here. I mean, just two bases. And that's, that's tons of RP without any premium or anything like that. Now here, I'm going to try lock this guy up. It's a J8B. But then, you know what? I decide, never mind. I'll go for this other guy instead. So I'm just going to get the AIM-9G ready. Uh, just going to... Uh, no, no. Actually, I meant to go for the tornado the entire time. I just didn't feel like saying it straight away. So, you know, I'm going to intentionally miss... Uh, you know what? It was never about the tornado anyways. I was just going to go, you know, fly around and, like, just have a look. See what's going on. Maybe, like, look at that sunshine. And then I see the J7E. This time, this time, I, like, decide I need to get this kill because I want, I, I want a bit more RP. So I'm going to go straight for him. And just beautiful kill. Unfortunately, I didn't record it. I did record this one, though. And unfortunately, I did end up accidentally deleting that clip as well but now with two kills and the fact that you just saw me get a crit on a stationary ai target is just amazing at least i do get this one so that's going to be like two vehicles now so i'm just going to approach this object 906 just going to try get three for three and now i'm in our absolute favorite situation of having a crew lock so i'm just going to play france instead and Yeah, I think I'll actually rather just wait for the crew lock to run out. Rather surprisingly, a lot of you guys are relatively new to the game, and I'm often asked if I can explain how I go about playing it. War Thunder is a pretty difficult game to get into. It has an incredibly steep learning curve. So don't mind me, I just had to catch up on a little bit of how to play War Thunder. But no matter that, I mean, here I'm just going to lock up this MiG-29 and fire an AIM-9L. The missile's looking pretty good. He's not flaring. That should be a kill, and of course it is. Then I'm gonna try go for this Gripen. 
and it was a bit of an ambitious shot. But I mean, you know, I have six AIM-9Ls, I might as well. So I'm just going to pull up here, try stay with the Gripen, because it's a Gripen that I don't really want him to stay in the match. AIM-9Ms, and I've only got 60 flares. No, thank you. Then I'm not, I'm like waiting to shoot my missile because he's just flaring anyways. What's the point? Then we have a little bit of a... Yeah, I mean, okay, first thing there. Now, I, I'm just going to shoot him down because I wasn't sure if he was dead or not, so... Wanted to make sure the Gripen was out of this lobby. Now, here, there's there's a guy behind me, and there's also a guy in front of me. So I'm just going to try shoot this missile while also flaring at the same time. Trying to get a few more cheeky kills. Like, I'm not really worried about this guy behind me. Looks like he's just flying in a straight line, so I'm just going to kind of try to get behind him. I, I don't really know what he's doing. Flaring periodically. Like, here I decide I'm just going to lock up a missile, but then he's so close that I'm just going to go for guns anyways. He's not really... Like, I mean, I'm missing a little bit. Fair enough, but... And then we have the second case of a team kill. Now, I'm just watching this guy at this point. And I won't lie, my first thought is, dang... This looks like something an F4 player would do. And then, to my surprise, I was completely right. And, you know, after seeing that, I decided, nah, I gotta play the F4 as a, you know, fighter now. No more of this base bombing shenanigans so we're just gonna start off with a very nice kill there and just kind of launch a ton of missiles and hope some hit because that is the average f4 fighter experience now here i'm not gonna lie is another case of that should have been my kill but whatever i guess i'll let them have it this time but you won't be getting that kill next time. And there's this Tornado ADV coming towards me. Not sure what he was doing, but to be fair, I got the crit. I'll take it. Now that is going to be another kill straight into my stat card. And here I'm just flying over because there's quite a mess there in the middle of the map. And we really have to just sort it out here. I lock up this other British Phantom with the name 7F. And that is about to connect and be another kill to add to my collection in my stat card. Now here I'm locking up this MiG-29 because it's a MiG-29 and we all know what happens when there's an R27ER heading towards my plane at a rapid pace. So I get the severe damage and that is going to be another kill. Now here I'm trying to lock up this F4EJ but then he's really close so I just go for guns and I actually managed to hit that which I thought was really epic. Definitely one of the clips that I'll be showing to all my friends. Now it's just a simple 2v1 and all I need to do is lock up this AIM-7F and launch it and the match will be over. However, as you see, it's just going somewhere else, not entirely sure where, but well, I, I was not expecting that at all. Really can't blame me there. As I said earlier, it's just the average F4 experience where the missile just goes where it wants. But at least I do get the crit in the end. And that is going to be an epic six kill match. Very surprising in the F4 ja F Whoa, F <laughs> F4 J Phantom 2. But only like 10k RP, whatever I guess. So now I'm just going to play another match of aerialistic. Some may look at this and say, hold on, what, what is this? But no, I mean, it's as you can see, I'm just taking off here, playing a normal match of aerialistic. Trying to spot some enemies off the bat. Now, I see this tornado over here. He's quite far away, so I'm just going to try, you know, get a bit closer. Can't really get an a, a radar lock yet. But then I, I find this F-16C. He's really not look, paying attention to me at the moment. Not flaying or anything, so I just get an R-73 straight into him. That's going to be a crit. He misses his AIM-7M, so I, I'm still fine over here. I'm just, I think I'm just going to go like round and try to get another hit in this tornado. But unfortunately, he does flare it. So 
I'll try again later. Now here I see this F-16C from early. He must have like landed. And this time he flares my missile. And I'm out of missiles. So I'm just going to go back to land and rearm. And then just go back to the battle in a second. Now here you can see me taking off again. I see this other Gripen over here. I'm pretty sure this is. Yeah, that's a Gripen right there. So I'm just going to get an R27ER ready. Again, the F-16C from earlier is back. He get he gets a hit on me, but I'm still fine. Just barely missed my R27ER. So now I'm just going to... I'm going to go for guns here because this pretty close range. And now I've decided to play some World of Tanks. Because as you can see, I've got a ton of this currency called free XP. So I can just use that to finish my research on the F-14. Because, I mean, I've got 700,000 pretty much. I'll just transfer it to War Thunder. All will be good. But just in case I'll get a bit more free XP, why not? This is ranked as well, so... Ooh, this is going to be interesting. Now, this is quite a high rank, actually. And where's the enemies? Well, the, the real reason you can't see any enemies is because I've already uh, destroyed them all. Uh, just kidding, that was a prank. The match just started. I know that was absolutely hilarious now this defender mark one is, is going somewhere i guess I'm not entirely sure where he's really up to just no good so i get a really nice 507 uh, damage roll and you can kind of tell that we're going to be winning this match because about not even a minute in and it's already 1-0 now i want you to pay attention to this shot very closely because what was that what is that I mean, the one little tiny piece of red on the, like, the front side of his turret. I mean, dang, that is crazy. Now, I try to go for the blind shot. I actually don't know if that hit. I might actually, while I'm recording this voiceover, I might pay a bit more attention to see if I dealt any damage. And then here, it's 2-1. Well, actually, 3-1 now. So, I, there's a Project 46 in the corner. I don't really, like, care, to be honest. Like, I'm not too worried. I just want a bit more damage before the match ends. Otherwise, I'm going to be sitting on a generous 400 damage and probably gain about 0 0.5 points for my rating. Now, it's actually 3-2 at this point, but I'm still not really worried. My engine is damaged, which is really unfortunate. I think I might have actually hit the blind shot because the defender was quite low. But I'm not sure anyways well we do secure that kill which is the good thing this projector is pushing me so I'm, I'm thinking oh man there's not much i could do here but then i have the genius idea i'm just gonna go backwards and because he's not gonna catch up in time i'm just gonna reload and now we're playing in the vk 90.01 p i mean as you can see that that also is a vk 90 and when you're side scraping there's just absolutely no chance of getting any damage on this vehicle it's just so strong uh yeah it's just completely red the only chance you have is like HE or, well, having a skill issue like you just saw when you accidentally angle way too much. But that's no problem because we're absolutely winning this match already, as you can see. Get a nice roll into him and he can't really do anything because I'm just wiggling my way out. Then he decides to go for the MX-50 because why wouldn't you? Now here I actually get penned twice, which is, you know, a ton of damage. Unfortunately, I can't side scrape here, but I can kind of wiggle around and hope that they miss, which is what happened there. Now, at this point, I kind of want to get rid of this T125, but there's just enemies everywhere, and yeah, I can't really do much. I get, I do get that nice shot there, but I'm just going to go back, try to get a new position to side scrape from, or kind of just at least hide the bottom of my hull. This MX-50 just melted. Like, I didn't even get to pay attention in time and he's just almost gone so but i mean it's still an easy win to be fair not much that has to happen except the fact that it, the mx50 decides to just leave fair enough he must have just got bored and wanted to go back to the hangar because this is war thunder i mean world of tanks i get a nice shot there which is racking up this damage i mean it look it's a 3v7 but all i need to do is get a retain heroes and it's all chilling and you, as you can see one kill? Nah, I'm, I'm set for this Rasane Heroes. I'm about, I'm absolutely about to clutch this up. Gonna get a double Kolobnov's medal in one match. I unfortunately get shot 
all the way from the other side of the map. So I'm just going to focus up here, try not to have a skill issue, get a really nice bounce. Желаю